Hi, I'm Anthony. This is my dog, Rosie. We're from Hayden, Alabama. You're watching Trucker Josh and his dog, Weasel, and TJ... Good morning, everybody. We gotta bring this steel up north. Oh, so we're in a little town. One second, they're called uh, Villisca, Iowa. On Highway 71, US Highway 71. We're on this highway and in this middle of nowhere because I-29 is closed. The entire interstate is closed, so all traffic has to go around the back roads. So we get to see some scenic little small towns that we would usually never see. So I like it, I'm excited. But we ended up stopping here. And like I was telling you at the end of yesterday's vlog, I was very lucky because I pulled in here with four minutes left. I had no idea where to stop. I was using Trucker Path, but Trucker Path didn't even register this as a truck stop. Uh, if you're wondering what Trucker Path is, it's an app. Try it out. Uh, they don't sponsor me or anything, but I like using the app because it shows you where all the truck stops are and where you can park. And very often drivers update it to whether or not there's spots there or not. It also tells you if scales are open. You know, when you go past it, you, you punch in whether it's open or not. And then the next drivers can see, you know, like, oh, five minutes ago, somebody said it was closed. Or, oh, just now, somebody said it's open. So you know whether or not you can make your decisions thereafter. But anyways, I'm going to get on the road here, and uh, it is hot as you know what out there. Hot. Woo! Let's go north. America's too hot for us, man. we got to go back to Canada. All right. I'm melting. It's not even summer yet. Vermilion, South Dakota has this coffee cup travel plaza that we've stopped at quite a few times. Got this little play structure here, little picnic tables. It's really, really nice. Super nice driver's lounge up in the building over there. They also have a coffee cup park park. Just for weasels. Just for you, Diesel. And some dogs, man, too. They, they're allowed in there. I guess it is technically made for them, isn't it? It's a bark park, not a weasel park, but we're gonna make it a weasel park today. Let's go check it out. Been doing a lot more idling than I'd like to, but it's just so hot outside, you gotta keep this cab cool. We don't wanna roast the weasel now, do we? Let's go check it out. Go check it out, come on. Let's get on the grass. That pavement's probably really hot on your paws, come on. Come on, bud. Come here, bud. Come on. Look at that, they even got a water pump over there. Whoop, I guess we should close this back up again. There we go. I know we're not gonna get much done because you're just gonna be sniffing everything. We never really get much running done or anything done when we take diesels to the dog park. 
because there's so many smells of other dogs here. All he does is stand around and sniff everything. They even supply you with poop bags. Look at that. Even though we bring our own everywhere. Come on, he's a run. Too many new smells, eh? Too many new smells. He can't focus on anything but that. Someone didn't clean up their dog's poop? They already provide you with poop bags, people. Come on. More there, more there, more there. Diesel, leave it alone. I don't know why people don't pick it up. Oh, no. There's another one coming. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, they're coming in here. Okay, Diesel, it's time for us to go. Oh, well, how is that, buddy? How is that? We didn't stay out there too long. It's so hot out. It's like 34 degrees out there right now. But, man. <sighs> South Dakota. Woo! Now I know I keep saying how good these bugs are that are splatting onto my windshield. It means that summer is here. I think we've past the point of, wow, this is nice. It reminds me that summer is coming to the point where it's just, okay, I can't see where I'm going. It's crazy. The camera doesn't really pick it up much, I'm sure. I'll have to check it out later, but it's insane. We're getting uh, close to, no, we're already in North Dakota. We're getting close to Fargo, North Dakota right now. We are getting slammed by a wall of bugs. The time is uh, 10 after 10 at night. Still got quite a bit of sunlight up there. We are getting closer to the Canadian border. The Canadian border is about three hours ahead of us. And then from there, uh, this load is just being brought to our yard near Winnipeg. Uh, I'm gonna drop it there tomorrow. And on Sunday, we're leaving with a load of glass that's already sitting there waiting for me, tarped. And we're taking that uh, first drop is in Saskatoon. I think I got a drop after that in Calgary. And then we end off in Surrey, BC, I think. And then from there, we have a load taking us right back to uh, Minnesota. So next week is all planned out for me. I like that. We're just going through some construction here. It is that season, the season of bugs and construction. Can you guys see how many bugs are on that window? It's hard to tell now, eh? Man. Still not complaining though. Still better than snow. Well, we stopped here for fuel in Fargo, North Dakota, and we got the bugs mostly off. Didn't spend too much time on it though. I just want to get going. We're going to try to make it up to Pembina, North Dakota, which is right at the border. I don't think we'll even make it there. But, uh, it'll be very close anyway. We'll see, I might just stop in Grand Forks, spend the night there. I won't make it over the border tonight yet. I don't want to stay in Fargo here either because that leaves a little bit too much to do tomorrow yet. And I just bought a coffee, so I don't want to go to bed yet. I still have two and a half hours available to me on my e-log clock. And it's about 251 kilometers to Pembina from here. Well, I don't think I'm going to quite make it. But... I don't know, we'll see. I want to push it further yet. I'm not ready to go to bed yet. What a long day, eh, Diesel? What a long day. Well, we made it to the rest area. Not quite at Pembina. Uh, so we're half an hour from Pembina and the Canadian border. It's as far as we could make it yesterday. Oh, but our 10 hours are up now, so I'm gonna start tomorrow's vlog. Thanks for watching today. It was just a day of driving across the boring plains, pretty much, but I'm glad you were here. It made it a little bit more exciting. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. It's a new video almost every day. Hello everyone, it's Kieran from Trillac, BC, Canada. You are watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on TJV.